student welcome to the my online lecture series of basics of automotive systems my name is bagirip kalal from alja institute of engineering and technology so today i discuss topic number 1 in which two points are left that is a front uh, front engine rear wheel drive and four wheel drive so today we will discuss these two topics and uh, complete uh, all wheel drive train so in previous lectures we discussed the front engine front wheel drive so two uh, drive system is remaining so let we discuss first front engine rear wheel drive what is a front engine and rear wheel drive okay so let me understand front engine rear wheel drive in this drive system the engine are mounted in the front axle or front side of the vehicle and power is transmitted to the or uh, uh, to the rear axle sorry to the rear axle with the help of propeller shaft by differential through differential to rear wheel okay so i hope understand these things front engine rear wheel drive okay in this drive let us start our uh, let's show in the figure this is our engine power is uh, produced from this engine and transmit to the gearbox gearbox with the help of clutch okay with the help of clutch in gearbox our uh, torque is increases torque in increases with decreasing the speed because of power is equals to 2 pi anti by 60 if speed decreases torque is increases and torque is increases that means power is increases clear okay in uh, by the gearbox system power is transmitted again to differential uh, to differential or differential mechanism <coughs> with the help of propeller shaft with the help of propeller shaft propeller shaft is nothing but it is a rotating shaft which connected with the help of two hook joint or universal joint because hook joint or universal joint is nothing but it is used to transmit a power at some angle okay at some angle that's why used a hook joint okay it is a one type of coupling system hook joint is a one type of coupling and the design of hook joint or uh, coupling it uh, its design is a study in the uh, machine design okay now differential is used to uh, transmit a uh, power to rear axle shaft to wheel to the rear wheel okay so the definition of the front engine rear wheel drive is nothing but in this chassis layout the engine is fitted at the front engine front engine side and front side the engine clutch and gearbox are fitted at front while drive to rear axle is given with the help of propeller shaft this chassis layout is one of the oldest and still remain popular for heavy commercial vehicle okay so most of the vehicles this type of uh, drive train is used or this drive use the front engine a rear wheel drive what happen if this uh, drive train is used if this type of drive train or this type of uh, drive train layout is used what happen in the vehicles okay so first of all that uh, height of the vehicle is increases because we use the propeller shaft why uh, if propeller shaft is used why height is increased when you move on this uh, speed breaker the upper side of wheel is moved but when it down on the speed breaker then propeller shaft it hit the speed breaker that's why we uh, increase the height from the ground in the front engine the rear wheel side that's why height increases if height increases and uh, load is also increases okay weight load or weight of the vehicle vehicle increases how because uh, some uh, part like a uh, hook joint propeller shaft and uh, <coughs> differential and other components are used in this system okay so what happened if uh, components are added in this system compared to front engine front wheel drive so mileage mileage are decreases so next is this is the uh, diagram of the uh, front engine rear uh, front engine rear wheel drives uh, for exam point of view what how to draw in the exam this is the diagram so uh, keep in your mind this is how to make a diagram in the exam so let you understand this diagram this is the longitudinal member nothing but it is a type uh, comes in the chassis this is two two are the long long members that is a longitudinal member and also called a side member also called as a side side member also called as a side members okay <coughs> and this is our cross members this is our the cross member on which engine 
clutch and gearbox are fitted steering mechanism also there and propeller shaft is used and differential this one is differential and power is transmitted to rear wheel drive in this uh, mechanism or in this drive train okay radiator at the front side radiator is mounted on the front side that's why uh, natural air is comes to con direct contact with this and the power losses is reduced the power losses of fan is reduced okay next advantages of front engine rear wheel drive the first one is uh, due to engine and radiator are at front due to engine and radiator are at front side the forward facing radiator takes full benefit of natural air stream created by vehicle's movement hence reduce the power losses for uh, for a large fan so let's see in this uh, uh, front engine uh, front engine rear wheel side the radiator are mounted here when vehicle is moved in a very high speed so natural air is con natural air stream is contact with this radiator that's why the fan losses is reduced that is the benefit or advantages of front engine rear wheel side rear wheel side okay next is uh, the weight distribution is reasonably balanced between the front and rear wheel which gives good handling characteristics what is the meaning of this statement the weight in this uh, in this system the weight is balanced perfectly because the uh, we use the propeller shaft and drive train or power uh, power is transmitted to rear side differential is used to put it uh, back side that's why uh, weight of the vehicle is distributed evenly okay evenly or in all or the all wheels so wear is less okay and which gives a good handling characteristic so in front side only what is the engine clutch gearbox and the steering mechanism so space is uh, provided for the steering mechanism easily uh, turning the weight of the vehicle is shifted to rear drive wheel the weight is a vehicle the weight of the vehicle is shifted to rear driving wheel during the acceleration and on a steep acceleration on a steep resulting in the better road grip hence there are less chance of wheel slipping what is the meaning of this statement when vehicles move on the steep road like its gradient okay when vehicle is moves on this on the steep road that is the angles theta that is like 5 to 7 degree around when vehicle move on uphill side that what happened the weight or uh, weight of the vehicle is shifted here so uh, at the driving at the driving wheel is back side or rear side that's why power uh, traction is more so traction is more on that wheel traction is where because we are uh, driving uh, wheel is uh, power is transmitted there so traction is more here that's why when you accelerate on a strip reason the creeping is better in the rear wheel drive and less chance of wheel slipping okay next statement the since the front wheel are used only steer the vehicle only steer the vehicle the, since the front wheels are used only to steer the vehicle or movement or turning the vehicle has steering mechanism become simple in design and easy to operate because the main component like a differential power is transmitted on the rear side of the front axle is only free to uh, for steering mechanism so ste steering or steer or movement turning other on the left side or right side easily turn because simple in design and easy to operate when 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 front engine or rear wheel drive is used Next, accessibility to various component. Accessibility to various component like engine, gearbox, the rear axle is better comparison to outer layout. The control link is control link is meaning the mechanism like accelerator, clutch, chop, and gearbox are short and simple. So we can control easily in this in this mechanism. In which mechanism? Front engine, rear wheel drive. In this drive, the control link is or mechanism like a, a B. Uh, see like accelerator brake and clutch chalk and gearbox are short and simple large luggage space is available at back of wheel or back side of vehicle which providing increased carrying capacity as well as as space for easy body extension that means large ca luggage capacity is available at the back of the wheel which providing increase the carrying capacity as well as space for easy body extension now comes on the disadvantages of front engine rear wheel drive what is the disadvantages of front engine rear wheel drive 
first of that mileage is uh, reduced because of more component are introduced in this drive system first during the braking uh, during the braking weight of the vehicle is fitted to front wheels and weight of the rear wheels decreased resulting the braking effort developed that is the uh, main disadvantages next is uh, it required long propeller shaft it required long propeller shaft and differential at rear side therefore height of floor area increased also due to long propeller shaft transmission problem and weight are increased what happened if this is our vehicle this is our uh, vehicle okay so here prop long propeller shaft is used for power is transmitted from front side to rear wheel drive to rear rear axle or rear wheel drive so what happened the floor height is increased <coughs> floor height is increased next is due to less weight of driving rear wheel due to less weight on driving rear wheel there is a less adhesion on road less adhesion on the road what is adhesion adhesion is nothing but it is a uh, it is a force what type of um, force attractive attractive force on the road and wheel and resulting is a less holding capacity that's why less holding capacity with the road therefore there is a less chance of skidding or slippery surface that's time the vehicle will speed or slip on slippery these are the disadvantages of front engine rear wheel drive Next is rear engine rear wheel drive. This is the very uh, common phenomenon which which you see in the market. The Tata Nano is a one type of rear engine rear wheel drive. Your uh, buses, uh, city bus are also rear engine rear wheel drive. Where engine is mounted on the rear side and power is also transmitted to rear wheel axle or rear wheel. That is the rear engine rear wheel drive. Okay. In this chassis layout, engine is fitted at the back and drive is also given to the wheel. Okay, this arrangement eliminated the necessity for the propeller. So by using of this uh, drive, we eliminate the propeller shaft, hood joint, and extra other parts. Okay, which required in the uh, front engine rear wheel drives mounted near to the drive wheel. The passenger are kept away from inconvenience like noise, height, and fumes because engine at backside. So, in this, what happened? This is the disadvantages of this type of drive. The passenger are kept away from because it's a seat away from that where engine is put because of their noise is noise increases, heat and fumes because engine at backside. Okay, you can uh, analyze in your uh, city bus also where engine is fitted at backside where fumes and the heat where much more heat is induced at backside because the engine is fitted at backside. Okay, what is the advantages of rear engine rear wheel drive? First one is a short drive line because engine gearbox and final drive can be built into a single unit because it final drive gearbox and uh, in front engine front wheel drive it we called as a trans axles okay a majority of weight at the rear of the vehicle gives improved traction because more and more weight are the shifted to rear side and that's why traction is increased during hill climbing and acceleration it has a simple drive soft layout compared to a uh, front wheel drive drive shaft is a very simple compared to front wheel drive layout effective rear wheel braking is a possible with this new layout that means your uh, braking system is a very effectively uh, effectively developed because of this layout okay next is due to absence of propeller shaft the absolute obstructed floor space is reduced that means your floor space where in the front engine rear wheel drive your height of the vehicle is uh, more and here propeller shaft is uh, not used in this drive train that's why floor space is again reduced the exhaust gases from engine heat and noise are carried away from the passenger and the drive arrangement result a compact layout and short car you see in the Tata Nino car which is an example of rear engine rear wheel drive next the front of the vehicle can be designed for good visibility and smooth airflow what is the disadvantages of rear engine rear wheel drive okay the disadvantage first disadvantage is the rear world concentration of the weight causes the vehicle to be more affected by the side wings at high speed okay at a high speed the more side winds are very effectively at high speed and it makes the vehicle turning very sharply into curve so curve curve road okay on curve road it makes vehicle turning very sharply into a curve road okay it has a restricted luggage 
compartment due to narrow front which house fuel tank is also there that means uh, engine is a back side and fuel tank is back side uh, drive uh, is back side no propeller shaft is used that's a luggage compartment that means we can order dicky okay we can order dicky that is a space for luggage is a uh, uh, narrow or we can uh, it not provided a luggage compartment you see in the tata nano no luggage compartment is provided a third it is difficult to accommodate the fuel tank in a safe zone and vehicle it is a very difficult where we put the fuel tank okay for safely that is the more disadvantage for space for luggage is reduced Ste steering is difficult in a slippery condition okay. uh, obviously steering or turning is a difficult in a slippery condition okay six it is a difficult to accommodate the liquid cooling of the engine it is difficult to liquid cooling like uh, water cooling or other uh, lubricants is used for cooling the engine is a very difficult in this uh, drive train okay seven natural air cooling is not possible because it requires powerful fan okay natural air cooling is not possible because it requires a powerful fan radiator so radiator is used for cooling the engine uh, where natural air cooling is not possible that's why we use the powerful fan to uh, movement of air long linkages are required for engine clutch gearbox and control next is four wheel drive the next and third one is the four wheel drive for why four wheel drive is used first question is why we use the four wheel drive first of all that what is the meaning of four wheel drive four wheel drive is nothing but the power is transmitted to four wheels of the vehicle okay if we have a four cross four vehicle okay that means the vehicle have a four wheel and power is transmitted to four wheels or rear uh, four wheels that means on rear side and front side <coughs> but sometimes uh, it is a categorized with two parts a uh, four wheel drive and uh, all wheel drive okay what is the differential between these two all wheel drive and front wheel drive in front wheel drive in transfer case provided that uh, power is transmitted to either or front side of wheel or rear side of wheel according to you and you can also power is transmitted to four wheel also that means you have a choice that where your power is transmitted on the rear wheel side or back wheel side of back wheel uh, rear wheel side or front wheel side that is the you have a choice okay you can transmit uh, on a rear wheel side of wheel front wheel side of wheel or either uh, four wheel okay but in uh, a all wheel drive power is transmitted completely in all wheels okay no choice to transmit a power in rear side or front side that is the main difference between four wheel drive and rear wheel drive so uh, question is that why we use the four wheel drive okay to get enough traction between wheel and road what is the traction traction is not the uh, ability of uh, power that transmit to the wheel to road that is no losses of the power when it transmit to uh, wheel to road that is the traction traction is a uh, uh, we can understand like for understanding the gripping capacity or how much power the maximum ability to transmit a power from wheel to road surface okay sometimes if it is uh, slippery surface or okay slippery surface or in a uh, hill surface where power is not fully transmit to wheel to that surface that means traction is less okay that's why we use the tractor type a wheel okay uh, just an example you wear tractor shoes like a woodland of tractor shoes that is the means the traction is more with the road okay for walking on a surface that's why we use the tractor shoes so by using of that shoes we can walk easily on the hill surface hilly surface or slippery surface to get enough traction between wheel and road we use the four wheel drive that is the traction okay to move vehicle on slick surface dirty slippery road and sand road and snow muddy roads etc we use the four wheel drive okay <coughs> next this is the uh, theory for the four wheel drive so, so you can read easily and uh, understand what is uh, which i explained in again four wheel drive four cross four and four wd refers to excelled vehicle drive train capable of providing torque to all of its wheel simultaneously okay all of wheels i will tell you so that means power is transmitted to all wheels it may be full time or on demand it may be on full time or 
in demand and is typically linked by a transfer case transfer case is nothing but transfer case is nothing but it is a uh, mechanism to divide the power equally divide the power on rear side rear side axle and front side axle so use a transfer case okay next what is the advantages of four wheel drive increased traction is obtained in slippery surface first traction is obtained more traction is ob obtained in slippery surface more balanced axle load distribution because load is uh, evenly distributed when four wheel drive is used on. even tire wear even tire wear means tire is wear equally on all wheels okay so rotation of wheel is not much more required because wear of is equally or even okay disadvantage of four wheel drive a uh, weight of the vehicle increases obviously transfer case are used to propeller shaft are used to power transmit on rear side and front side that's why weight of vehicle is used cost of vehicle obviously your component is increased manufacturing cost is increased that's why cost of overall vehicle is increased maximum speed of vehicle is reduced you can't achieve maximum speed vehicle if you use less fuel economy than two wheel drive fuel this is our diagram of four wheel drive okay four wheel drive or this is our military vehicles okay, which moves on a, this sand surface now the main important questions which is asked in the exam again and again what is the difference between front wheel drive and a rear wheel drive so this is the theory related to this questions in front wheel drive clutch gearbox differential are made as a one unit that is called as a transaxle trans where in rear wheel drive clutch and gearbox is a front where the differential is at the rear driven by a propeller shaft okay so in rear wheel drive power is transmitted to and rear wheel side okay on rear side in front wheel drive more luggage space at back when compared to rear wheel drive due to more weight on the front wheel in front wheel drive vehicle has more addition on the road when compared to rear wheel drive that's why wear of front wheel wheel uh, wear in front wheel is more compared to uh, compared to rear wheel drive in rear wheel drive wear is a evenly uh, evenly wear of the tires okay now in front wheel drive on a gradient or while accelerating weight is shifted to rear wheel which is not desirable hence tractive effort is reduced because tractive effort is reduced when you are on a gradient or hilly surface or hill surface due to more weight on a front wheel more weight on a front wheel in a front wheel drive the steering is a harder okay because all the mechanism are mounted in the front axle side that's why steering is a hard there is always under steering mechanism under steer or under steer where means you, uh, according to your turning not achieved that is the under steer okay in front wheel drive the weight on a front wheel is more compared to that in rear wheel drive okay thank you so much so uh, we completed all drive train till this video in next video we will discuss the performance of the vehicle what type of uh, resistance uh, occurs on the vehicles okay